top eight qualifier where Ranger was able to take it in this bracket. Can they do it again in Shulk Nest? Syrup Ranger, loser semis, let's go. Yeah, I feel like this matchup on paper is probably really good for Shulk, considering yeah. that Shulk already is very disjointed and like Ness needs to get in. I would agree, I would agree. Like, especially if Ranger just decides like, I'm going to play the Nair and Fair game and you have to live with that. But sometimes players don't do that. And when you have, when you're forced to kind of make use of your different arts, especially things like shield art, uh, Syrup's probably got combos for those. The plethora of multi-hits, the solid web trapping. Oh, wow. Barely got out of that. Luckily, jump art was barely, was barely saved. But right now, he's off stage. This is not looking good for range of this first off. And that's going to be the stock right there. Yeah. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how to turn a ledge trap into an edge guard. It's like, I'm going to force you off stage, and then I'll just inch by inch make you go, uh, go a little bit more forward, and I'll cover, instead of just the ledge trap space, the ledge itself, and turn something yeah, into nothing. Nothing into something. Yeah, he's cooking up something right there off the stage right there. Already at 54, Syrup definitely was not happy that he lost 2-0 to this shelf right here. But despite despite the deficit, Sean trying to bring this back. And has the tools to as well. I mean, you can, as what it takes here isn't just the, uh, the tools that Shulk has to execute and to close out his stock. It's Ranger being able to force Syrup off stage. How you do that on a stage like PS2 is extremely difficult. But that's where can things like speed art can come in. But oh my god, that excellent interception coming out from Syrup, who's just starting to really run away with this game. Even with the shield art online and smash art being so threatening. Yeah, it's like, that was fight. <laughs> Despite uh, Sean switching all these arts, Syrup is ready for like the arts that's about to hit at him. Like he is playing so calm right now. Yeah, 162. Yeah, you, you saw the misspacing on the fair. Everyone was waiting for the back throw that Syrup uh, showed his hand for, even, but still fell in, into Ness's loving grasp and the three stocks to one deficit. This Shulk has got a lot of work to do. Yeah, but it definitely, I would not count. Sean out. We've seen like, I've seen Shulk like be able to bring it back in crazy amount of situations, especially with that smash art, even like Buster or Shield. Like those three main arts are like the key components to like Shulk bringing it back. Oh, but burning a Buster art super quickly. You'll get it back and you get the forward throw, finally able to close a stock on the board, only 15%. Shame about loot not having Buster here, but I guess that's why you want speed. All he has is Shield art right now and Syrup is still all over him. Ooh, that was an interesting piece of thunder too right there from Syrup. Damn. Oh, oh, did not. I like the way. Probably thought. Sean probably expected the up air, but that's not going to matter. The back throw is going to take the first game in Syrup's favor. Yeah, I like. I also don't hate it. Right, you land that back air, which did hit extremely late with Buster online, so you get the added hit stun as well. And it's like, all right, I can confirm this into dash attack. This is a combo, but just not getting the right hit of this back air or maybe pulling the trigger a little bit too late. Good on Syrup. I think I know why he also didn't opt to go for the up air after the peaking thunder trick because he probably suspected Sean would try to bust shield art to get like the multi hit. So he waited. That was a good wave right yeah. there. It's like, I'm not trying to press button. I'm trying to be super careful. Hold my block here and wait for you to make a mistake, which Ranger fell into. Starting this game right back on PS2 and I feel like Ranger needs to start this game off much slower. Needs to focus on that range and try and get out of this corner because that's how this how last game unfolded super quickly where Syrup set up a ledge trap and then it was curtains and Ranger was playing catch up for the rest of the game. Yeah, I think definitely what you said before, I think Ranger needs to slow down a bit on how he's approaching this because once he's just, he has that one missed space, then Syrup's going to like have him eat so much damage for that. 35 here. Speed art means you have some extra combos online if you're able to find them, but it's so interesting that Shulk is very reliant on things like Nair to can, to keep up their juggle Nair and Up Tilt to keep up their juggle game, like Up Air being much more of a, a finisher than a than a combo tool. And it can be very hard to sometimes like overcommit with these big rising Nairs when you almost want to stay closer to the ground. Especially with speed art online. Right now, Shiv kind of getting over committing with the up smash, and he's now being put off stage because of that. But again, choosing. Okay, that works somehow. I was like, there is very little threat here for Syrup on recovery, 
there you go. Wow, good DI from Syrup. I'm surprised he actually lived that. Downer. Oh, he well. that was a, that was a really rough spot to be in. There was like a lot to look out for on that ledge against Shell, especially. But Sean playing a little much more, I guess like much more passive in this game compared to the last one. Yeah, much more focused on like, hey, I'm trying to make you, to, I'm trying to wait for you to jump in. And that's when you're gonna see the nares. That's when you're gonna see the back airs. That back throw, absolutely taking the stock. But it's little moments like that where you, once you get uh, Syrup to commit, even just a little bit, you get the chance to edge guard. You get the chance to go deep. You get the chance to edge guard Ness is kind of counterplay 101. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is looking really bad. Gets this. Gets the maggot off of PK Fire. Confirm. He's he's known to do that a lot. That is, is, that is <laughs> something Syrup. Uh, it feels like Syrup didn't just know. Like, Ness is new about it, but Syrup popularized it. It's like, hey, we have opportunities to go for these. And landing PK Fire at this stage of the game should sometimes just be death. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, because that move was not originally like that. It did not have a hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> it's a move used to be terrible. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I think PM Project M did it first with the down B as a hitbox, because in other games, like, it fully, like, absorbs stuff with it. Yeah, it's a, it's a complete transformation of, like, of the character's kit, but when you can give, when you give a character, like, a frame three repeating hitbox like the Magnet is, suddenly you can just explore this combo in the game, explore the awkwardness that Ness has at their disposal, and Ranger's getting a full course on it right now, seeing just everything, what uh, what Ness can do in advantage, where Ness can snipe out options and still has the Tri-State Twist ready and waiting, getting that back throw going. This is not looking good for Ranger right here, but luckily that back throw is not going to do it despite being in Smash Heart. Yeah, going deep here. Fake out, not able to go for anything. I wonder if that re-grab was intentional. Either way, setting up another ledge trap and avoiding ledge completely there. Get the way on the part of Syrup though, not falling for the air slash setup, instead recovering super low and super late. Okay, nice okay. back air. Yeah. All right, it's not definitely definitely not out of it for Sean right now. We might see some damage from Buster right now if Sean's able to get that one hit that he needs. Uh oh, 36 and climbing here. Got a couple nares, but a great overshoot from Syrup, able to find a back air there. But the Buster Art reducing the knockback just a little bit. That's a dash attack. Ooh, this could be really big, but doesn't get much out of that with the PK Thunder 2 hit. Oh, is that gonna hit? That's absolutely oh, it, but still Ranger died first. Oh my god. A huge trade on the part of Buster, uh, not Buster, Smash Art Fair and Ness back air, but just as Smash Art would have made that forward air kill, it also boosts the knockback that you take, and it made this back, it made that Ness back air obliterate Ranger. <laughs> That's just one of those moments like, all right, I'm already up a game. If I go for this, there's always the next game. And Syrup yeah. knew it's like, all right, well, if this if this trades, then you're just dead because like it could be the Smash Art. I can't believe that traded too. I guess Ranger just jumped a little bit too far forward. But when you see that double jump get used on the part of Ness, it's like, you gotta smell blood in the water at that point. But a slight misspacing to make that trade instead of outright beat falls in Syrup's favor as they move on to top three here today, coming up against